Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a black tie holiday party inspired makeup look. Was that way too many words? Yes. So in my last video, I asked you guys for some pre-holiday video recommendations. And I did get a couple of requests from you guys to do some holiday party inspired makeup looks, but I did have one specific request for a black tie party makeup look. And I love that idea. I have to be honest, I've never been to a black tie party before, unless the high school prom counts years and years ago. But I love the idea behind this one. I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys. And I definitely think this is a look that you could wear to any holiday party. I also think there's something so classic and timeless about a red lip color, and I think a black tie party would be the perfect time to pull that out. But if you guys would like to see how I got this makeup look, then let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna kick things off by going in with my Cover FX Blurring Primer. I just wanna put a tiny bit of this just right along kind of the sides of my nose where I have a little bit of larger pores, kind of down in my smile lines. We're gonna be extra today. We're gonna to use three primers. So next I'm going in with my Smashbox primerizer, mainly just because I have extremely dry skin lately, and I definitely find this to be very hydrating underneath my foundation. For today's look, I really want my complexion to be really healthy looking and glowing. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Max Strobe Cream, and I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of this and pop it right on top of the cheekbones, and basically down kind of the center of my face. A good option from the drugstore is the Physician's Formula Spotlight Primer. I definitely think that one's even a little bit more glowy, but I am using a very glowy foundation today, so I didn't wanna to go too overboard with the glow underneath. So let's go ahead and jump into foundation. Today I'm using my IT Cosmetics CC Cream. I really just want to use the products that I love and that I know work really well for me. This is definitely one of those. This, if you've watched a lot of my videos, you will know I talk quite often about this. So I have it in the color light and mine's in the illumination version. I know there's some people that say they don't particularly like the illumination version, that it's a little too glowy for them. I don't find it to be overly glowy for me. So I only went in with one pump of this today. I don't want to overdo it on the foundation. I want, as much as I want my complexion to be kind of flawless and everything to be covered, I want my coverage to come from my concealer more than from my foundation. This is really just to kind of even things out. And I'm really just buffing this in to my skin, kind of like buffing and then tapping. By the way, this is the IT Cosmetics Airbrush Flawless Complexion Brush. So I'm actually going to take a tiny bit more of that MAC strobe cream and I'm just going to add a little bit of this right on top of that layer of foundation, just right on my cheekbones. I just kind of tap this right there. Okay, so let's move into concealer. Today I'm going to use my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. So I have the color light, which I will be using on my under eyes, and then I have the color medium. This is just a little sample that I have that I'm going to use to conceal um, a couple of blemishes that I have, some hyperpigmentation around the perimeter of my face. You definitely want to conceal any sort of under eye discoloration that you have because if you're wearing a bold red lip, it's going to bring out any sort of blues or pinks or reds or purples in your skin tone. And we definitely don't want to highlight those things. We want to conceal them very well. Okay, now I'm taking just a little bit of the medium shade and I'm just going to apply that on some of these little areas that I need some help with. Now I'm gonna set everything in place with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is in the translucent, translucent shade. And I'm just using an e.l.f. Kabuki brush. This is a really old brush. I don't know if they make this brush anymore. But I'm gonna start by setting my eyelids with the majority of that powder. And then I'm gonna take the rest of it slightly underneath my eye, onto my forehead, and kind of down the center of my face. I'm gonna take a little bit more and just set right here on my cheekbones. So let's move on to brows. I'm going to use my Ardell Brow Pomade. I know I've talked about this one recently. I'm just trying to use this guy up a little bit because it definitely is kind of starting to dry out. And I do love the precision that a brow pomade gives me over a pencil, but it definitely is a lot more time consuming, so I don't find myself reaching for it very often. How many of you guys did Black Friday shopping? We actually did do some Black Friday shopping, which I have not done for a long time. I mean, it's been like 10 plus years since I've actually gone out on Black Friday. It's just not one of those things that I 
I know there are people that love it and totally like live for it. And I will say it actually wasn't that bad in the stores. I didn't think like the stores, at least the stores that we went to were not overly crowded. Parking wasn't a big issue, but we did get rear-ended on our way home. But everyone's okay. So that's the most important thing. Everybody was fine. But I was driving home thinking like, oh yeah, this wasn't so bad. You know, maybe I could do this again. And like seriously, moments after that thought entered my mind, we got rear-ended. And I just was like, nope. Now I know why I stay home. So we're gonna move on to our eyes. Today's eye look is very, very simple, pretty basic, which is why we kind of did our base first. Today I'm gonna to dip into my Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I'm gonna start off by taking this shade right here, the color Weekender. This is basically like a half a shade darker than my skin tone. It's very, very subtle what this shade does, but it definitely gives me like a very, very soft definition. Hopefully you'll be able to kind of see. And you can see I'm kind of placing that slightly above my crease. Now I'm going to take a MAC 217 brush. I'm going to dip into this color right here. This is the color Riff, which is a much more kind of deep, warm transition shade. And I'm just taking a tiny bit of this. And we're putting that right into the crease. Kind of pulling that almost all the way in. I'm going to go into this shade right here. This is the color Breakaway. And I'm going to just take a little bit of that under my brow bone. This is a crown brush that I got in BoxyCharm. I'm not really even sure what it's called, but you could really use any eyeshadow brush for this. Now I'm going to take this shade right here, which is probably one of my favorites in this palette. It's the color Stranded. This is just a very kind of champagne toned gold. It's just very, very light, but very, very reflective and beautiful. We're just gonna pop that onto the entire lid with my finger. Now I wanna add a little bit more sparkle to my lid, and to do that I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Loose Highlighter. This is in the color Written in the Stars. This came from the Zodiac collection of theirs. This stuff is beautiful. I know it's meant to be a highlighter. I actually use it on my eyelids more than I use it on my cheekbones because it is it's very glittery, but it's very, very refined glitter. You can see it right here, it's so beautiful and reflective. So we're gonna kind of just tap that right on the center of the lid. Then I'm gonna take my pinky finger and just apply a little bit right on the inner corner. I'm gonna go back into that 217 brush and just kind of blend the edge of that, just right on that outer edge. So now we're going to add a little bit of powder liner to our upper lash line. I'm going to start off by going to the shade right here. This is shade Punk. It's just a very warm, deep, deep brown. And I'm taking my Alomar Cosmetics flat liner brush and we're just going to start building that up right on the outer corner and sort of in a wing. you guys can see kind of just the wing shape that I'm creating. We actually are going to go in with a gel liner kind of underneath this, just kind of a little bit more close to the lash line. This is just going to add a little bit of extra depth and a little bit of like softness so our wing doesn't look quite so it's harsh the right word. It looks a little bit more natural, a little more soft. Okay, and once I've done that I like to take a clean finger and just sort of tap it right along that lash line just so one it softens the wing up just a little bit more and it also prevents any excess shadow that's sitting there from transferring up onto our lid. So I want to add just a little bit of black winged gel liner. I'm using this one from Pretty Vulgar. Hopefully this works out you guys. I'm not usually very good at doing wings on camera. I'm going to bring my mirror a little bit closer. So now we're going to jump back into this shade right here, the color Riff, and with that same brush, which I did wipe off just a little bit, we're going to take just a little bit of this on the lower lash line, just right kind of on the outer half. Then I'm going to curl my lashes and apply a little bit of my It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, and I'll be right back. Okay, right, so we're going to move on to the lip color, and then we'll finish up with the rest of our face. So for today's look, I'm going to be using Dose of Colors Kiss of Fire. This is a very, very intense, vibrant, kind of pink-toned red. 
So I picked this up during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty and I have not had much of a chance to use it yet. I've kind of been waiting for the holiday season to pull this thing out and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to do it. Definitely is a very, very bold red color. Let me swatch it for you guys really quickly. So here it is right here. It's a very kind of pinky. You can see kind of the pink undertone in it. It's a very vibrant pink toned red. It has quite a bit of blue in it, which actually makes your teeth look kind of white, which is what I kind of love about it. But if you're not comfortable with a red period, then you definitely could use something a little bit more toned down or a little bit more nude. But honestly, if I was going to a black tie party, I think that would be the perfect opportunity to pull out a red lipstick because red lips to me are just kind of classic and timeless. I really think red lipstick looks good on anyone, but I also get that some people are not comfortable wearing a red lip, which I think if you're totally uncomfortable in it, then I definitely wouldn't recommend wearing it to a party because you don't want to spend your night feeling totally uncomfortable. But try it out a few times maybe before your party and just see if you can kind of like get used to wearing a red lip if you are not someone that wears them very often. So I have another red color here from the drugstore that I want to recommend and this one is from Milani. This is their matte iconic color and this is a much more kind of has less pink in it it's much more of just like a classic sort of old Hollywood kind of red this is definitely a beautiful color I will say though if I'm wearing a red lipstick to a party I definitely would prefer to wear a liquid lipstick even though I don't typically like liquid lipsticks very much because they are kind of drying on my lips I don't know if you guys have ever worn a red traditional lipstick and found it like on your chin or on your cheek later in the day or on your teeth Definitely don't want that happening at a black tie party. So I would definitely recommend going for a liquid lipstick if you can handle it. So I'm gonna start things off by applying my lip liner. This is the Milani lip liner in the color True Red. I'm gonna slightly overline my lips, particularly on the bottom and in the top center. Now I'm going to take my liquid lipstick and I'll be right back. All right guys, so there is the lip color. See, it's very, very bright. And you can also see that I look very washed out now. So we need to add some color to my face. So I'm going to start off by taking just a little bit of bronzer. Today I'm using the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze in the color Fair to Light. It's just a very, very subtle bronzer. And we're just going to kind of warm up the face just a little bit. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of blush. I think one of the most important steps when you're wearing a bold red lip is to get the blush color right. And I think the best way to do that is to find a blush color that has a similar kind of undertone to it as the red color that you're using. So this red today is a very kind of pink undertoned, almost a blue undertoned red. So I'm actually going to take this color right here. This is by Essence. This is one of their blush up powder blushes in the color Pinky Flow. I don't know if this is a perfect match, but I definitely actually tried this look out the other day and I think it did work pretty well. And if you don't feel like you can match your blush color, then just go with something that's very neutral, like Max Melba. That's, that's the type of color that I think goes with anything because it has a little bit of coolness to it, has a little bit of pink, a little bit of peach in it. It's a very kind of neutral blush, so you definitely could use something like that as well. It definitely would work, but I definitely think that this will work a little bit better. And the trick with the blush is just to build it up really, really slowly. Because our lips are so bold, we don't want to have bold color on our cheeks as well. We want it to just barely be like a hint of barely there color. Which I think is one of the trickiest things to get right. If you do feel like you went a little bit overboard with the blush, just take your foundation brush and kind of tap that over the top, kind of diffuse things just a little bit. All right guys, so moving on to the last thing, which is highlight. So today I'm gonna to use Opal by Becca. Look how cute this little thing is I got in a Christmas set. So I'm gonna take this on a Luxie tapered highlighter brush. We're gonna add a pretty good amount of this because I really want my highlight to show up. A 
on my nose. And with my finger, I'm going to take just a tiny bit. Right on top of that Cupid's bow. Now I'm going to set everything in place with my L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray. I have such a mess going on down here. This is crazy. All right, you guys, and with that, that completes today's black tie inspired makeup look. Let me know what you guys thought of it. What do you think about this very bold red lip? It's definitely out of my comfort zone, but I really, really love it. I think it's beautiful, it's classic, it's timeless. But again, if you're not comfortable in a red lip, you could definitely tone the lip color down and do something a little bit more nude or neutral or even just a very sparkly gloss I think would be really pretty with this look but either way I hope you guys enjoyed this one definitely keep an eye out because I do have some more holiday party inspired makeup looks coming for you guys but thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button before you leave and I will see you guys very soon bye